I love them. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina and I am the Honest Vocal Coach and today we are doing a recap of semi-final one Eurovision 2024. Right, so as you can see, I have actually got natural light coming through the window today. It's normally a case of me shutting the curtains and making it all blue and all of that, but I thought, do you know what? We're going to change it. So, new shirt, not really sure if I like it or not, not sure if it suits me, but there we are. So, last night was the first semi-final of Eurovision, and as you know, I cover it every single year and I enjoy every second, well, nearly every second, apart from some of the trolls and like toxic fans that we've got this year but other than that I absolutely adore it my favorite moment last night was definitely the introduction always makes me feel like I have to do that it's just so awesome it just lights me up now I have got so many notes on last night's show so I'm going to be working my way through them letting you know my honest opinion of last night's performance let's start with the opening performances it was very sassy very slick it was really nice to see these very poppy kind of three singers come on and do their thing and um, fuego was just awesome but it did feel like she was singing over the vocals rather than singing above them so there was definitely a, tra a voice on the track which was just kind of bedding in underneath i felt like it's probably overtaking a voice a little bit i mean there's support in the vocal and there's like cheating a little bit and i think it was it's kind of oh, yeah definitely on the edge for that one i thought the glass smash was really really effective on his performance, although the song was good, I thought that he was very talky. It didn't really have an awful lot of projection, so it was kind of an average vocal for him. But all in all, it was a really good starter. And I do really feel that he was relying on the track. When Slow Mo came on, I was just bowled over by it. Slow Mo is just such an epic song. And that dance routine is probably one of the strongest that there has ever been for Eurovision. And that's definitely how it's done. The vocals were done so well. It was a brilliant song. So then we have the lovely introductions. Marlin and Petra, good choices. Didn't change costumes though, did they? That's unusual. I was at the semi-finals last year, semi-final two, and I was quite surprised on the amount of times that the presenters changed their costumes. Whereas last night, they had the same thing on the entire show. Maybe they're waiting for the final for more costume changes. I don't know. So us in the UK, we get to listen to Rylan and Scott Mills in the voiceover uh, and also Richie, who was doing it for Radio 2. And they were really good. I didn't feel that they were condescending or rude at all about Eurovision because we know that going back over the years, Terry Wogan, he did like to take the mickey a little bit and so does Graham Norton. Uh, so I think Rylan and Scott were really respectful and fun about the whole thing. So a first performance was Cyprus, the youngest performer of the semi-final one. Uh, apparently she is Australian and not even from Cyprus, but fair enough. We had Gina Jean, she was from Australia, so why the heck not? This particular song, I really disliked the la la bits. It just felt like they didn't have any lyrics for that part of the song, so they just la la instead. Now, there is a sort of fine line on this, whether you go for a, a like for example on the germany entry the na 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 eh, that worked pretty well but the la la at the end of the line was just like they didn't have any more lyrics so we're just going to shove the la la's in i didn't like that part of the song her vocals were really unsteady at times i think the pre-chorus worked beautifully for her vocally but the other parts of the song not so much she was a little bit shouty on the chorus as well and there just wasn't as much support and quality on the vocal as I would have liked. But yeah, it, every time it did that la la, it just like grated on me. She was very much singing over her own voice and I thought that she did rely a lot on the track, 
which shouldn't really be the case. It should be that the singer can hold their own and the track is there to sort of boost them up. But I felt she was relying on that track a little bit too much. For vocals, I'm going to give them all a little bit of a rating this year of what I thought in terms of, I'll tell you who my favourite performances were at the end as well, but in terms of vocals for Cyprus, I would give them one out of five. For Cyprus, I thought it was going to qualify, and was I right? I absolutely was. So Serbia, one of my favourites in the competition, and it's one of my favourites because the song is good, but also she has such an emotive voice. You believe every single word that she sings, and it's always stood out for me, this particular song, because of that reason. There are other singers in the competition that is emotive, for example, France, but she really, really gets into it, and you feel feel what she's singing about and that's just as important as being able to get all the technical riffs and the technical show-off moments so for her she was one of my favorite vocal performances the harmonies and the folk element of this song is just superb i like the rock i thought that looked really good as well this song really did rip my heart out the emotional quality she had was just superb she has a deep, amazing vocal tone and there's just this richness to it that just kind of grabbed me and drew me in. Now for vocals for this one, I would give it 5 out of 5. So Serbia, did I think it was going to qualify? Absolutely. And was I right? Yes, I was. And if you want to know more about what I thought of this, you can check out my recaps from the rehearsals as well. And also if you want to go to the original song when it came out, you can watch those reactions as well. They're all in a playlist. I will put it at the end of the video so you can check it out. Right, so next up, Lithuania. Now, this song doesn't really do it for me. I always felt like it was singing, look down, look down, rather than the actual word that it was singing. It was just the way that I picked it up. I thought the whole thing was just kind of average. The dance break was dull. It didn't really have anything special about it. I thought the vocals were kind of average as well. I did actually write adequate down on my sheet, but that's kind of rude, so I apologise for that. It was definitely better than adequate, but it just didn't give me enough energy. There wasn't enough oomph behind his vocal. I think bring back the root. So for this one, I would give the vocals a one out of five. Lithuania, I did say it was going to qualify and I was right. Right, so next up was Ireland. Ireland was actually the best performance of the night. And I will recap this at the end of the video, but my goodness, it was so effective. Now, the reason I didn't know whether this was going to qualify or not, I put it down as no, was purely because it's such a different song. I didn't know whether the audience were going to get it or not. And they absolutely did. It qualified and it was the best performance of the night. She was so incredible. Her vocals were definitely five out of five. I love the fact that she had the ballet elements to it. Although there was a moment when she had a little bit of a wobble and she lost a vocal for a second. It didn't really bother me whatsoever because I still thought it was brilliant. Her emotional energy and her just passion for it was outstanding. And finally for her performance, the screams were just incredible. I remember in the first time that I reacted to it, I said I was a bit unsure of the screams, if they were all absolutely live. And she replied. She actually replied on my comments and said that she has a scream coach and I can assure you all of them are live. And the screams were superb. So if you do read this again, Bambi, it was an outstanding performance. Definitely the best of the night. Vocals, five out of five. And there's not many five out of fives in this semi-final. Right, the UK. Okay, okay. Now, you will notice that I did have a little bit of thing about the UK. Now, in the rehearsal, it was really erotic. I mean, really close to the edge. There's a particular portion of the song where it did look like... I can't really say it on this video, but I'm sure you know what I mean. But I think they pulled it back a little bit for this semi-final, the actual final. Because it wasn't as rude at that particular moment. The faces weren't quite as sexual looking. 
I reckon they pulled it back a little bit. I think someone at the BBC or someone somewhere went, actually, it is a little bit too much, so let's draw it back in. But you know what? What a brilliant promotional tool. Let's just go over sexual for the rehearsals. Let's get everybody talking about it, do an amazing performance on the night and then go from there, which I thought was a genius idea. And I think, you know, whoever was behind that right decision. Vocals definitely got better as the performance went on. Not all is best. I have heard him sing better than this, but it was pretty good. So I would say four out of five for vocals. Right, next up is Ukraine. Now, this is my other favourite vocal performance of the night. Again, I'll recap at these at the end. But I don't think I'll pronounce this right. But the, the girl who has the name that's the same twice. It was so good. Oh, my goodness. Apparently, one of the girls slipped as well, but I didn't see that. I must have missed that moment. It was a great song, great staging. I adored the vocal. So much passion, so emotive. Five out of five for the vocals. So this was one of my favourite vocals of the night. Right, Poland up next. Now, I like this song. I think it's very radio, you know, radio friendly. And again, if you want to listen to more of my reviews of these songs, feel free to go back and watch the original performances that are in my playlist. I thought the vocals were really weak. And I did say that in my um, sort of previous videos, in the rehearsal videos as well that I did think she would get swamped on the stage and her voice wouldn't hold up. And unfortunately, it didn't. The song was nice. The stage and a little bit odd. I didn't quite know what was going on. Why have we got a horse and we've got towers? Apparently, it's all to do with her love of chess. But how that related to the song, absolutely don't know. Uh, so unfortunately, her vocals were just not strong enough. And I think that's why it didn't qualify. I had it down as a qualifier, but it was the vocals that let her down. The live vocals, though, they were actually better than rehearsals, but just not strong enough for the chorus by any means. Definitely needed more backing vocals or something on the chorus just to lift it. I actually felt that about the UK as well. Could have done with a little bit more on the chorus just to boost it a bit. A very cursive vocal as well, so I'm going to give it a three out of five. Also, I felt the bridge on this song was shocking. <laughs> it was definitely an oh dear moment. Oh my goodness, yeah, the bridge, not so great. Croatia up next. Now, last year it was Let 3. It was my most hated song of the entire competition. But this year, I actually really liked Croatia's vocal. Surprisingly good. It was 5 out of 5, believe it or not. In rehearsals, I wasn't so sure about his vocal. But in this performance, it was genius. The lyrics, nah, they're a bit loose and you, yeah, not the cleverest vocals in the world, but it is a little bit of fun. And I think the actual hook of the song was really clever. There's still a bit though that sounds like he's singing Anxiety is Sex. It's not, it's Anxiety Attacks, but for some reason my brain thinks it's something else. I thought the dance move was great because there were so few so few clever dance moves in semi-final one. We literally got that from Croatia and this from Sweden. That was it. That was it. Although in semi-final two, we are getting a girl being flipped over, which is kind of cool. Okay, Iceland up next. I did say it would be a no cue, an NQ. And unfortunately, it wasn't an NQ. The song felt dated. It felt like a 90s pop song. The staging was super sparse. It was just her and backing vocalists. God knows where they were. They put them that far back. You just didn't really see them on the stage. The song proper lacked something and she was really struggling vocally, especially on the low notes. She just didn't have that support behind them. It definitely needed dancers or something. Two out of five for the vocals. Oh, and stairs. Why? Just why? 
Why did they give people stairs? Surely we know this. It's just like The Incredibles. No capes. It's just the same thing. I know. Well, give her some stairs so she looks really nice when she's walking down. No. She's looking at the stairs, scared she's going to fall over and make a fool of herself. No stairs. Please learn. No stairs. I actually felt that the song was too low for her as well. Those low notes, she just didn't handle them. So I reckon maybe a key up, maybe a semitone even, would have just helped her out. Oh, and it was pitchy and yelly at the end. Germany. Now, Germany. This song is very much a uh, sort of uh, radio kind of favourite as well. And I thought it was a pretty good performance. But he must have been so hot on the stage. There were that many flames around him. I didn't see how the flames kind of added to the performance though. In terms of the lyrics. Didn't really see how that kind of blended. But he proper gave it his all. I felt like he was all in from the very first second of the song. And probably had nowhere to go volume wise or dynamics well from that point. Because he'd literally gone all in. But there's a subtle pre-chorus so he kind of drew his vocal back in again and then rebuilt it for the chorus so it worked kind of well. I also like the na 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 eh on the end of each sort of run run. I thought that sounded pretty cool. There were some pitchy moments so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. <laughs> Up next was Slovenia. Now this was one of my vocal favourites because she was so confident. There was just this calmness about her. She knew that she had a great voice and she didn't need to struggle or panic or worry about it. She just believed in her technique and it was an overall good vocal. I especially liked the nice mix at the end when she was doing sort of the woes and stuff. I thought that was really superb. Her vocal for me was five out of five. Finland, no, was my first reaction as soon as it came on. I'm like, oh, this is going to be cringy. And it was absolutely cringy. The fact that there's an egg made out of denim and he gets out of the egg. And the whole idea of this performance was the way that the camera angles and certain things were covering his parts. But it didn't work. They just didn't pull it off on the night. I think in that very first time I saw the performance, I think when, you know, it was launched the song, it was all right, but for this semi-final, it just didn't work. And I was cringing so much. And the moment when the shorts comes down at the end and he pulls up the shorts, you know the moment I mean. And it's like he's struggling to get his parts into the shorts here. This is just embarrassing. Oh, and the whole let's squirt, whatever the hell that was supposed to be, I just didn't like it at all. The only good thing about Finland's performance is the blonde guy's vocal. He was really good, but other than that, just not for me. For the vocals, I'm giving it a 2 out of 5. Right, Moldova. Now, this was way better than the original staging. It was nice to just see her and the violin, but it still wasn't enough. Her vocals were confident, nicely supported, but the song wasn't incredible. I think as well at the end, the bit where she's doing the high uh, version of the chorus, I didn't quite understand why they were doing that. Is this to show off that she can sing that high? I didn't quite get it. Vocals, four out of five. And I didn't think this one would qualify, and it didn't. Sweden, this is probably my favourite song of the entire competition. And I know I've said that about some of the others, like Serbia, for example. Um, but this is genius. It's such a bop. It's like the perfect futuristic pop song. The twins were flawless. Their vocal was definitely five out of five. The Matrix choreo was great. The whole staging with the look from above. It was the costumes. Everything about Sweden was brilliant. Right, Azerbaijan. 
I didn't really like this one. I've said this from the beginning. I didn't think that the song was strong enough. It was kind of a filler song that you would get on an album. And the vocals were really weak on the night. It didn't qualify. I didn't think it was going to qualify. The vocals were very, very pitchy. And none of my comments here anything personal to the performers or the countries i'm literally just giving you my honest opinion on the vocals staging and the overall performance australia now i didn't mind this song i thought it was actually good but vocally the belting really not great they proper struggled in getting that supported belt. It was very yelly. And as the song went on, it got worse and worse. And I think that's what let them down. The song was okay. I didn't think it was going to qualify and it didn't. Vocals, one out of five. Right, Portugal. I was so drawn to her. There was something about her that was so gorgeous. Also, the outfit that she had for the turquoise carpet, oh my God. I was like, she is so, there's something about her that I was absolutely drawn to. Now, the Portugal song, a very good performance, one of the best vocals of the night. I wasn't entirely sure about the white costume look, because that seems to have been the thing all the way through this semi-final. Definitely felt like it was a white costume show. And the bell at the end, absolutely superb. Five out of five for the vocals. <laughs> Luxembourg, superb performance. She even said in the little chat before they did the song was that she found it was the most difficult vocal performance that she's ever done. And I kind of get that. It was all over the place. There were some head voice moments, some belty moments. It really wasn't easy, but she pulled it off so very well. It was a good performance. It did qualify, which I'm excited about because I did think that it would. And I would give her five out of five for her vocals. Okay, so now we get the 15 minutes to vote. It never gets any easier, does it? It's like, what am I going to do with myself? Where shall I go now? So we have Johnny Logan singing... The beautiful Euphoria, which is my favourite Eurovision song, just so you know, followed by Rise Like a Phoenix. Uh, and it was really beautiful, but there was an unfortunate moment at the end of the song where he just didn't get the high belt. He just missed it. It was a real shame. But he will always be the king of Eurovision with Loreen being the queen. Right, so then this performance of, uh, I apologise, I can't remember what his name was now. I should have written that down. It was like a blend of 80s TV show theme with a, a kind of Nick Jonas element. And that first song, I really didn't get it. But the second one, oh my goodness, I will be surprised if that is not hitting the UK charts today. It was so super catchy. Call me Gimme Something, I think. The whole performance was superb. He was infectious and the song was outstanding. And I know I'm not supposed to be giving him a 5 out of 5, but it was brilliant. So yeah, he would have got a 5 out of 5. So at this point, the waiting never gets easier. You know, we've got the jokes of the Grinder app and then other like chit-chatting and then the screens open, which is kind of cool. And you get to see the green room behind the screens. And then we're waiting and waiting and waiting and then we're good to go. It's nice to have that saying in there and he does it so well. So then we get to find out which one's qualified. So I've got my list here. I'm going to show you what I think qualified as well. So Cyprus qualified and I was right. Serbia qualified, I was right. Lithuania qualified, again I was right. Uh, Ireland qualified, I was wrong. It was a well-deserved performance. It was the best one of the night. I was absolutely wrong. I apologise for that. I just didn't know whether the audience would get the music or not and get the style, but they did. Then we've got the UK, great performance, but they didn't have to qualify because they're already through to the final. Ukraine qualified, I was right. Poland qualify i put but it didn't unfortunately the vocals let the song down so it didn't go through 
Croatia qualified, I did think it would. Iceland, I put as a no queue, it was a no queue. Then Germany, again, they don't have to qualify, they go straight through to the final. Slovenia qualified, I was right. Finland qualified, I was right. Moldova didn't qualify, I was right about that one as well. Sweden, fantastic, but again, doesn't have to qualify. They're already through to the final. Azerbaijan, I had down as a no queue, they didn't qualify. Australia, I said no queue, didn't qualify. Portugal qualified and I was right about that. And then Luxembourg, I said would qualify, I was right about that. So the two that I was wrong on, and I'll hold my hands up this year and go, yep, yeah, I was wrong, was Ireland and Poland. So if I could go back on my decisions, I would possibly switch the two. But I do think that Poland could have been in with a chance because the song was good. The vocal performance was just that little bit too weak. So now comes, I feel like a newsreader now, now comes my favourites to win. Currently, my favourites to win are Serbia, Switzerland, Sweden and Belgium. But Ireland could just change everything. It's, it's like... <laughs> so I think Serbia, Switzerland, Sweden or Belgium. For last night's semi-final, I actually felt that the weakest performances unfortunately it was Azerbaijan and Australia but the best vocals of the night was Bambi Thug from Ireland she was absolutely incredible it was the best performance of the entire night if there was nothing else happened and she just performed it would have been phenomenal also I've got Ukraine down here but she was outstanding and because they're one of my faves well they are my fave Sweden I think that they were the best vocals on the night. Right, so as I've said already, I've already reacted to the song in full and I've done a recap of Rehearsal 1 and Rehearsal 2. So if you want to go back and have a look at those and compare how I've kind of got through the competition, because there's always a change. There's always a change. You do that first reaction and then you make a list of your favourites and then the rehearsals come and you're like, oh, hang on, hang on might change a little bit and it definitely did feel a little bit different for me after the rehearsals so before i sign off from this recap i just want to say thank you so much for supporting my channel and so many of you watch it but you don't subscribe it would do me a massive favor if you would like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much i will be back on Friday with the recap of semi-final two and again on Sunday for the recap of the whole grand final. It's so exciting. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye loves.